One of the things that Adobe Captivate version 8 is very effective with is the creation of uh, e-learning evaluations, you know, essentially that final quiz that you put at the end of your course. But like many things in life, you know, this can be something that's used extremely well or not extremely well. When I was um, a young instructional designer just getting my start, um, I took a lot of shortcuts, of course, like many, many uh, young or first-time instructional designers. And when you got to the end, when you had to start uh, um, creating that final quiz for, uh, for your employees to, uh, to complete, uh, sometimes you would just sit there and try to think up 10 random questions that had something to do with the topic that you were covering off. And I would suppose that uh, that a lot of people have probably done the same thing. But what I would uh, what I would suggest is that this is not an effective way of creating your final quiz questions, um, because a final quiz is an evaluation as to whether the learner has achieved the learning objectives of your course. Your quiz questions should be directly tied to the objectives of the course. Now one way you could do this is let's say for example you have eight learning objectives. You could actually just sit down and simply write a question for each of the eight learning objectives that your course covers off. And that would be fine, that would work well. But of course if the user had to retake the course for whatever reason, let's say the first time they failed the course, they were not successful in completing your course, uh, they would have to relaunch the course and, and take those, uh, take that, that set of eight questions again. And uh, first of all, seeing the same set of questions in the exact same order, uh, with no difference to them whatsoever, uh, may not really help them very much. It, it lacks variety, first of all, but also, too, uh, they begin to learn how to answer those questions rather than how to satisfy the objectives of the training. And uh, one way around that, of course, is to create a random quiz. And you can certainly do that with the question pool feature built right into Adobe Captivate. If you're not seeing it um, in your course, you can add it by going to the win window drop-down menu and selecting question pool to ensure that it's visible. So I have, uh, I've input on uh, this particular course, I've added eight question, random question slides. So I have a random question that's linked to um, a question pool. Now, by default, Adobe Captivate uses one question pool. But using, actually, the question pool manager, which I'll open up here, you can actually create additional um, question pools. And I have a total of eight question pools. I've labeled them objective one, two, three, four, five, and so on, right up to objective eight. And I've placed into these, uh, each of these question pools, one or two questions that have to do with each objective. So the end result is, is that every time a user takes this, uh, they may see a different question for each of the learning objectives. So essentially, each time they take the quiz, they'll see a slightly different version of the quiz. But most importantly, it will always be tied to the learning objectives, because every learning objective is represented in this quiz. And of course, you can come up with more questions if you like. I'll show you an example of what these, uh, these questions look like. Um, from this slide here, we'll start off with the first question, which is the first random question here. It's linked to um, objective one. So obje again, objective one is a pool of questions that are associated with the first learning objective of this course. Incidentally, I've actually placed the learning ob objectives of this course in order as to how they would be performed in real life. So one of the very first things in a building emergency evacuation course would be if you detect fire, you need to call 911. 
So that is one of the questions. And I have a variation of it as well. So they might see this version of the same question. And you can have as many versions as you like. Just again, to create that variety, force your, your uh, users or learners to uh, think about each question rather than, oh, I already know the answer to this one. So in this case here, you notice that the wall next to where you are working is getting hot to the touch and you think that something might be on fire. What should you do? Well, obviously call 911. So there's, I'm testing for the, the first learning objective. Uh, random question number two is linked to the second objective. So let's take a look at what that is. Here we have a, a question. So you are working in an area that doesn't have easy access to a phone. Right? So calling 911 is not going to help. What's another way you can report an emergency? Um, well, you can pull one of these manual pull stations. Those manual pull stations are those little red boxes that you see around your building, and they have a little lever that you can pull in the event of fire. So again, we're testing that learners uh, pick this up during the course itself. So then there's the third question which is linked to objective three. And in this case here, I only have one question, but again, I could come up with more. A small fire has broken out in the corner of the room. You once received fire extinguisher training. The fire is spreading and is now quickly moving up the side wall. What should you do? Well, in this course, I cover off that fire extinguishers are designed for putting out small fires. If you have a, a large fire, or a fire that is spreading. Uh, I teach users in this course. I don't teach them how to use a fire extinguisher, but I teach them that fire extinguishers are for very small fires only. If you have anything else, you should leave it to the professionals and focus on getting out of the building safely and effectively. And, you know, the course pretty much goes along like that. So you'll see, of course, um, objective four, and I have questions that pertain to uh, the emergency exit signs. So you'll notice that also too, one of the things I've done to make this uh, evaluation as effective as possible is that they're just not randomly ordered selections of questions. These are questions that actually sort of have a narrative. They tell a story. If you're answering these quiz questions, it's almost like the choose your own adventure books that you may have read as a kid, where you make decisions as you go. And of course, you learn from either the good decisions that you make, uh, but you also learn from the bad decisions that you make as well. So guys, hopefully this uh, video has been of use to you. It's just a real quick short one here. I just wanted to talk about using question pools to uh, to the most effective way possible that I know of, uh, and that's of course tying them to your learning objectives. Uh, if you like these videos that I'm producing, uh, please subscribe to my channel, and if you like this video in particular, don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up.